chances of making money is way higher. Use the other name to buy a new launch every three years and please. HDB loan, when you do partial repayment, it doesn't cut down on your monthly installment. So rough, rough guesstimate, 500,000, 400,000 kind of properties. Another episode of answering NGL questions anonymously without prepare, prepare, preparing. Why you always got problems saying preparing? Uh? Without preparation. I never prepare, so I just watch like that. So if I say something wrong, don't cancel me. Anyway, you don't have the ability to cancel me also, so it doesn't matter. So over here, today before I go on, right, I just want to say one thing is that guys, you are really quite smart, huh? Because why right, the questions are getting more and more intense and I see the income, wow, Singapore, a lot of rich people also. If this is not the first time that you're watching, please help us subscribe to this channel because look at my analytics, less than 10% of you are subscribed to the channel and it is quite sad to see. If you can help me, subscribe now. Thank you in advance. Let's go! Yay! Okay. So which is better in terms of resale value for the next 3 5 years, resale freehold or 99 years condo? Okay, so if you're talking about resale value right now, freehold properties, resale, I would assume it's a little bit older, so you require more maintenance over there. So you ask me, next 3 to 5 years is quite a short horizon. If you want to expect a resale property to go up in 3 to 5 years, I think the chances will be slimmer as compared to buying a 99-year leasehold new launch. I think statistically proven, the new launch 3 years, chances of making money is way higher than a resale over 3 years period of time. So uh, I would say 3 to 5 years, go for the 99-year leasehold. Why? Because with a lower entry quantum, the buyer pool is larger. So with a larger buyer pool, right, in future when you want to exit, it is easier. But go for a new launch if you can afford. Resale, freehold, maybe not my game. Lah. But to give my own opinion, resale, freehold will be usually if you are taking a 10 years investment horizon, I would say go for the resale, freehold. Right, right now, some of my clients, I'm helping them to sell. I sold their house with this, so they're looking for properties. I recommended them the resale, freehold, about 15 years old development. Why is because they just want to buy something that they can keep for long term and stay there and use the other name to buy a new launch every three years and flip. So one is for long term, one is for short term, three to five years horizon. So absolutely up to you. Need any help? Call me. Happy to give you my advice. Hi, got a question. If I loan 25 years HDB and maybe five years later, I have enough cash to pay finish everything. Pay finish anyway. One full one, full one, this is direct translation. So we have enough cash to pay, finish everything. Do I need to pay for the rest of the 20 years interest? No, absolutely not. Just a fun fact for you to know, when you're buying an HDB flat, using an HDB loan, many people don't know that when you do partial repayment, right, it doesn't cut down on your monthly installment. Did you know that? If you know that, right, type it inside the comment section. That means if you loan for X number of years, blah, 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 and your monthly installment is, let's say, $2,000, by Partially redeeming your loan, right? It will not cut down. Your 2000 will still be 2000 even if you finish paying 50% of the whatever outstanding loan that you initially had. Your monthly installment will still be $2,000. But what it will shorten will be your loan tenure. So government really want to promote prudence. Instead, you still have to plan for the full installment. You cannot do partial redemption and then after that you lower down your monthly installment. Yes, that can be done in private property. But in HDB loan, HFE, doesn't work that way. Let me know what you think about this uh, policy. What is the income you should be earning if you want to own a landed property which costs roughly about 8.5 million? This is an interesting question. I think we need to do a full on video to answer that. So if you don't want to miss any of the videos, right, hit the notification bell so that every time we post, you'll receive a notification. I will try my best. I think my, my content quite interesting one, so you can... The Lao Wang Mai Gua, Jiu Zi Mai Zi Kua, no choice one. Right, until I hit 20 million subscribers, which will be forever. A couple combined gross income is 10k. Do you think we can be deal with a single name, earn 6k and a few years later buy another condo in another name? Mm, yes, I think you can. Uh, however, you will be a bit stressed. You also need to see whether your BTO, can you qualify for the loan amount? Because MSR is quite unforgiving. Uh. It's quite cruel uh, because MSR is only 30%. Let's say you combine 10k, I will assume if your equal income is 5,000 per head, 5,000 per head, 30% MSR, quick calculation means your monthly installment cannot be over 1,005. So if you're going to buy something that is down area, 5 room flat, 700,000, 600,000 kind of BTO, right? Most likely you cannot qualify for the maximum loan. Lah. You will need to top up quite a lot of cash. And you gong it, it gong down man chuan over this period of time. So if you ask me, oh, you say 6K already. So 6K means you can buy, you use your MSR, your monthly installment cannot be above 1,008. 
So rough rough guesstimate, I think you can only buy like 500,000, 400,000 kind of property. So if that budget suits you, yes, you are good to go. But be mindful, your monthly repayment is based on one person and surely you need to top up cash. If you can afford, go for it. Not a bad plan. So next. Hi, what do you think? So cute, yeah, you reply as hi. What do you think of North Gaia as of the situation now? Is it a good buy? Yes, absolutely. Why? Because back then, Ishun, North Gaia take very long to sell, la, sadly. Right? So, that's why people say Ishun or they say Ishun people no money. I don't agree. I don't agree! Before you scold me, I don't agree. La. Come on. Everywhere also got your chain run one. It's just that. Moreover, I think Ishun right now, there are a lot of HDB flats that are just met MOP. Uh, yes, historically, if you go back 10 years ago, back then there wasn't much new housing. So, a lot of the youngsters that do well, they end up move to Sengkang, Pongo. Right? But now, with more BTOs, all the smart people in Ishun start to live back in Ishun already. So if you ask me now, can buy or not, absolutely people will be scared. Scared because it's not moving much. If I'm not wrong, it's 50% sold. But the rich people, the rich billionaires say, not I say one. Be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. I use this mantra. I hold this clearly in my heart. When people don't want to buy, go for it. Why? Because now it's a good deal. ECs back then, $700 per square foot, so acres. Back then, people already cow pay, very, very expensive. People who buy are stupid. End up, it's the people that never buy who are stupid. Any resemblance is purely coincidental. But yes, I'm talking about you. So, not Gaia, K in my ma. I think if you find the right unit, go for it. Jokes aside, go for it. If you qualify, go for it because you never know whether next few years will the government come up with more measures on this because if you ask me, I feel that the PSF right now is already a bit high. 1,003 plus PSF. Will it go higher? Definitely yes. How soon? I don't know. Historically proven. So if you can buy, go for it. It's a privilege for Singaporeans. Okay, that's all for today. If you enjoyed watching this video so far, Please help to tap the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this with your friends because real estate content can help literally anybody. So with that being said, keep the questions in the NGL link coming in. Happy to answer all the questions and all the best in your property investment. See you at the next video.